Welcome back to Uprising. I'm Sonali Kolhatkar. A measles outbreak in Southern California has revived the debate over vaccinations. Dozens of people have contracted the highly contagious disease from an outbreak at the Anaheim-based Disneyland theme park. Among those infected are five park employees and even a toddler from Mexico. Now, a school in Orange County has barred nearly two dozen unvaccinated students from attending classes for several weeks in order to control exposure from a single student who was diagnosed with measles. Lest Northern Californians think they're immune, pun intended, a new study by Kaiser Permanente has identified what it calls five statistically significant hotbeds of under-immunization in the Bay Area. Under-vaccination is linked to two groups of people, those with higher education and higher incomes, and those who live below the poverty line. A handful of Bay Area residents have already been infected in cases linked to the Disneyland outbreak. Nationwide measles cases are in increasing, sparking fears of a massive outbreak, the likes of which was last seen in 1989. More than 55,000 people were infected between 89 and 91, causing 120 deaths, mostly of children and babies too young to be vaccinated. My guest is Arthur Allen. He's the editor of eHealth at Politico, author of The Fantastic Laboratory of Dr. Weigel, and Vaccine, the controversial story of medicine's greatest lifesaver. Welcome to Uprising, Arthur. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, can the outbreak be directly linked to lower levels of vaccination among people who might be worried about health effects from the vaccines? I mean, certainly people who are vaccinated have also caught the disease. Uh, but uh, can we pinpoint and say it's low levels of vaccination that uh, that can be linked to this latest outbreak? Yes, because um, what happens is that uh, measles is an incredibly contagious disease. And wherever there are points of resistance, um, that is, people who aren't immune to it, they're almost certain to get it um, if they're exposed to it. And so the increase in the number of people who haven't been properly vaccinated um, creates this pool of people who can spread the disease and who can also spread it to people who may have gotten vaccinated, but uh, for one reason or another, the vaccine didn't take or their immunity waned. I know, for example, people my age, I'm 55, um, I was probably vaccinated against it in the uh, mid-60s, early 60s. The vaccines then weren't as effective as the ones today. Um, and, I, you know, I would hate to be exposed to measles because it could be a very serious disease for someone my age or for someone very young. Mm 